Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Pine Town with Backpacker Mike, and I found this nasty beast hard tea uh, original here. So this is Monster Tea. Uh, comes in at uh, I believe five, no six percent, six percent on the make on the Richter scale there. This looks totally awesome. Uh, I'm gonna give this a try. Nasty Beast by Monster Hard Tea. All right, uh, but first, what I want to do is I pretty much covered everything about uh, Peru that I can cover. Uh, however, I did talk a little bit about the food, but I didn't show you food. So where I am staying at currently here in the United States, in Florida, in uh, Sebring, Florida, there is a Peruvian restaurant called Peru Fresh, uh, which actually has several locations in the UK, Peru, and right here uh, in little old Sebring. So uh, what I want to do is show you some of the food that I saved uh, to try for you guys. Uh, and I ate most of this, unfortunately, already. Uh, I, uh, my fork's on the other plate. Uh, and so I thought I would show you guys some of the ceviche I had left. I don't want to spill the sauce here. But if you've ever had ceviche, it's basically seafood that is cooked by citric acid, uh, etc. So this is absolutely amazing. Uh, I had shrimp, uh, scallops, uh, some uh, mussels, uh, some oysters, uh, which I think I ate all of the oysters actually because they were, no, I, there's one left. Oop. So I'll eat one of those. Also, there is uh, raw fish underneath there and I just spilled some of that sauce on my set so that is going to not smell so good um, anyway it also has uh, some corn in there as well some uh, fresh raw corn so uh, I'm gonna try this ceviche for you guys and uh, I got to tell you what I've had so far has been absolutely amazing so this is a bit like the um, their oyster, so to speak. Uh, and again, this is all cooked with uh, this is all cooked with uh, citric acid. So there you go. Mm. It's also good. It's amazing. There's also some calamari in here. If you don't like seafood, then you won't like this. But it's very good. You got some shrimp as well. Mm. And then you also have some raw fish that is underneath this pile of onions here. And I say raw, but it's like, again, it's cooked in the citric acid. And it's so good. Some of the best ceviche I've ever had. Then also, um, this is cold, however, I want to try it for you guys. Anyway, so this is called um, Paya a la Hochiano. Hochiano? Hochiano. Hochiano. Now, this is normally made with, uh, with beef heart. As you can see, I've ate most of it already. It's normally made with beef heart, but they don't have the luxury of getting beef heart too often here. So they use sirloin. And I got to tell you, this sirloin is like just melts in your mouth. It is so good. And they also have an amazing potato with like a bit of a gravy uh, sauce. It sort of reminds me of a um, oh my god the, the flavors are just so amazing 
sort of reminds me of a bit of a hollandaise sauce. It's a bit cheesy. Oh, that one hit the floor. But this is so good. It's so amazing. Um, as you can see there, you can see the potato and that sort of cheesy bit of hollandaise sauce to it. And it's so good. It's dropping everywhere. But anyway, Peruvian food is amazing. Um, I highly recommend going to Peru. It's definitely on my list of uh, places to go. Backpacking in the, in, in the future. This is absolutely delicious. If, if the food like Peru is anything like the food that I just got here locally, oh, that would be amazing. All right, uh, let me try this nasty beast for you guys. Nasty beast hard tea. Let's see how this compares to the Lipton teas and the Duncan teas and the Twisted teas and all that type of stuff. Cheers, both Slancha and Skull for my Nordic friends. You know who you are. Oh, yeah. Hands down, this is like one of the best uh, hard teas I've had. Yeah, absolutely one of the best. Uh, it tastes like just like tea, a little bit of lemon flavor to it. Uh, you don't have, you have a little bit of that booziness at the end, but not like, I mean, this is something that could be smashed on the beach. Like, it's not a big deal. It's very tasty. Yeah, this is like almost like drinking regular tea, but you get you get a little bit of that boozy punch at the end of it. Uh, you know, coming in at six percent. Uh, but yeah, that's really tasty. So yeah, I I would I would recommend uh, Nasty Beast by Monster. Their hard tea is pretty darn good. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'll go at eight and a half. I'll go at eight and a half also on the Nasty Beast Hard Tea. If you can find it, check it out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, peace, love, and let's continue to experience this beautiful world together. See you guys next time on Pine Time with Backpacker Mike.